Oh, Russian small arms. They've always had an aura of mystique about them. Though they've not always been the best looking, to some at least, they certainly are designed to work under all conditions. And yes, I mean all conditions. Now the last time I did an NPO AEG review was the AK-12. And today, finally, at long last, I get to bring you the next in the NPO AEG lineup, the 9A91. This compact Russian tank itself. Okay, you can put the gun down now. Oh, thank God. Hey guys, I'm always extremely thrilled to bring you guys these really unique AEGs, especially these ones coming out of Russia. This one is the latest in our NPO AEG lineup, the 9A91. And just looking at it, it really does feel like you're holding a tank that you can potentially store in your backpack to bring to games. Right off the bat, you're gonna be drawn to its rugged exterior. Its foregrip is like the chiseled jaw of a manly man. Its upper and lower receiver is strong and powerful looking like the biggest of Russian bears. And its stock? Graceful, like a ballerina. I think you guys catch my drift. This gun feels like the embodiment of Russia. It's strong, it's bold, and it's so rugged, you feel like you can go and smash things with it because, you know, full steel construction. Except for the handguard and pistol grip, of course. The old 9A91 comes in two different configurations. The suppressed version that you see here and an unsuppressed version that is only about that long. So making this gun extremely compact. The suppressor can be unscrewed to reveal the longer inner barrel, as well as its Dean's battery connector. The battery is a regular stick type battery that you're gonna put inside here. Being based exactly one-to-one -one off of the real gun, all of the markings you see on this particular NPO AEG will correspond with that real firearm. Now the lower portion of the gun is where some AK users may find some similarities, as its magazine is still that same rockin' style reload down to its release lever being placed in the exact same location. The fire selector is right here. On the upright position is safe. This one dot is semi-auto and the three dots over here meaning full auto. Now, this particular fire selector is a little bit stiff and it's gonna need a little bit of time to break in. Now, while there are still some similarities between this and AKs, a unique portion of this gun is actually right here as it has a small mag well to assist with the rock in reload. Let me demonstrate. It's pretty stiff. I'm not joking. Give me a second. 10 minutes later. <laughs> ah! I finally got the magazine out. The release latch is extremely stiff. So, if you have clammy hands, good luck. I should have brought some gloves in in hindsight. But to demonstrate, the small magwell makes it easier for you to reload more securely without having your magazine jam in weird and different places. The grip is something I feel like I should highlight to you guys. It's just so, so girthy and so comfortable to hold on to. Unlike some other grips out there on AK platforms that are a little small. The gun features these small, very small front and rear iron sights, as well as a side mount for your Russian style optics. Albeit, I feel that this is gonna be a little useless if you wanna be able to fold and unfold your stock as you go. The hop-up can be found right here by pulling back the charging handle. You can adjust here for more or less hop. Now, finally, the 9A91 comes with a version three gearbox. And if you want to learn how to get more out of this gearbox, click on the card that's on the top corner of the screen. I'm using a 7.4 LiPo and 0.2 gram BBs. So all throughout this review, I talked about how tough the 9A91 is. And with me is none other than the man himself, Quake. Quake is going to demonstrate for us exactly how tough the 9A91 is. Let's see how this ends.
quick! Don't don't do it! Don't do it quick! It's okay! It's okay quick! Don't do it! Don't do it! It's not quick! It's all good! After Quake's brilliant demonstration as to how durable, I guess, this gun is, let's see how it shoots, because after all, you're gonna have to shoot it, not whack someone over the head with it. Even though I'm running a 7.4 LiPo in this gun right now, it's still very responsive. Those sights? Pretty hard to read though. take a look at those results. The spread is pretty fair, everything landing right in this middle area. I also have to highlight, I did tap that thing twice in the middle. Accuracy wise, I think it's pretty fair. Hey, you guys interested in other NPO AEGs? Check out the review I did for the AK-12 right here. One thing's for sure, the 9A91 is gonna be a gun that you're gonna be able to bring to a milsim game or just regular skirmish and not have to worry about it breaking. Because this thing, yes, it is built like a tank. I think I've said it several times in this review. While these NPO AEGs may not come cheap, you can definitely be assured that this 9A91 will be the closest representation to its real life, real steel counterpart and on top of all that, it is really made in Russia. So if all of that matters to you, I would look no further because this is gonna be the one for you. What do you guys think? Do you like NPO AEGs? And do we have any Russian small arm aficionados out there? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you want cool products like this one and many more, visit our online store at www.redwolfairsoft.com. My name is Mark, AKA Blue Steel, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Have a good one, guys.